What's up, y'all? I hope everybody doing good, doing great. Hell, I hope y'all having a good day so far. Mine is going. It's going. I did my hair. Mm -hmm. Poking that, but it's okay. I fix it. Well, I know by now we've all seen the interview with Fallon with the guy Adam from Up and Adam. And basically, I'm not going to say it's the truth. It's her truth of what happened. Her take of what happened. And how she got on the show and stuff. So I'll just get right into it. Basically, she said that Simon wanted to be on the show. It was his idea. Or basically with everything that's going on, he been talking about that. He been trying to get on the show. And in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, not fact, but to me it seems as if he been planning on getting on this show and it seems as if they've known each other longer than a month to be talking about we so in love and engaged. I mean, I guess that's why he was out there when they was in the pool. He wasn't watching Fallon. We know who he was watching. And to me, it seems as if that was his introduction to us, like saying, here I go. My name's Simon and I'm with Portia. You know, then she spoke about being called, you know, a racial slur in her home multiple times. And we all know who did that. So I'll just say allegedly, but we all know it was Latoya Ali calling that girl Ching Chong. That's not nice. And we all know what that shit means. It's like a reference to the people in the nail shop. I don't talk like that, but we all know what this stuff means. So... You know, she had every right to grab the golf clubs and knock her ass the fuck out, in my opinion. Because what you're not going to do is come in my house where I pay bills and disrespect my house. I don't give a damn what problem you might have heard on the curb about what's going on up in here. But you're not going to come here and run shit. That's just me. And if you don't like my cussing, that's or your problem, not a my problem. I'm grown, so I'm going to talk like I'm grown. I'm going to talk like I'm talking to my friends. Y'all my friends. Take a moment to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Let me keep going. I did take notes. And, and then she talked about she was asked to be back on for the next season, season 14. But due to the sister girl getting them golf clubs, about to play golf ball with that girl head it wasn't a good look so you know they took that shit back and you know he was asking her about how did the experience impact her life and you know sis said it was a learning experience yeah you learned a lot you learn you learn how you cannot bring women in your house to tempt your man. Because you already knew what you had. It was no surprise. Because she stated, you know. Problems were there. Therapy already going on. Divorce had been filed before. So, you know, you weren't new to it. Which means that's why she probably not that shocked. Because he probably was already having some cheatations, situations, relations going on. You know. Homeboy was a player. Player, player, player. And stuff like that. And, you know. Then, the funny part, and it's not funny, but I'm just saying the coincidence of how she found out. Basically, she found out when we found out. Now, everybody that watches the show, how did Portia find out that Cordell filed for a divorce? And she had to pack her little shit and go. The dynamics are the same. This shit's the same. 
Same stuff. She found out the way we found out. She found out the same way. Like, basically, to me, in my opinion, it just looked like they were plotting on old girl the whole damn time. Because too many sim similarities between how she got dumped and how Portia got dumped. And then it's like, you know how you felt. We watched you cry. We watched you have to go back home and stay with your mama. We watched how he sent you your shit. We saw what that wedding dress looked like when you unpackaged it. So it's like, you gonna turn around and do the same thing. Karma gonna be a bitch because the same way you got him, you gonna lose him. Y'all might not have been friends, but once you come in somebody's house and break bread, and like she said, the kids know who you are, girl, you're not gonna, it's not gonna be what you want it to be. And then again, who's to say you want it to be like we think you might want it to be? It might all just be a plot twist, or it might be another reason to get another bag from another baby daddy with money. I'm just saying. And she said that she was hurt and in pain, as she should be, and shocked like hell. Shocked is an understatement. And she doesn't blame Portia. Better than me. Take two people to tango. That bitch came in your house, sat down, and ate your food. Took a picture with you. So, yeah, it's more so on him because that's y'all marriage. And she said that it was her fault and his fault, which means... Basically, you did what he say you did. You just didn't admit to us that that's what you did. So, we get it. You just tried to dress it up. And she was saying that, you know, she doesn't like to travel. She's a homebody. You know, low maintenance. Beautiful woman. Low maintenance. Not into all the flashy stuff and the glitz and the glam. And, you know, she spoke on, you know, Simon loves to travel. And he loves all of that stuff. You know, he like that ritzy type of shit. And basically, Portia fit the mold. You you brought temptation into your home. You know what your man like. You think I'm going to bring somebody in my house knowing what he like? You can't stop a man from doing nothing that they want to do. But I ain't going to bring your ass in my house to take him right from me. You know. And, you know, she spoke on, you know... When did she notice a change? Of course, she noticed a change after the show. Should have noticed it during the show. It's a lot that she probably sitting there now thinking back on hindsight. Like, damn. You know, I'm just saying. That's my opinion. Basically, he was a cheater. And, you know, she spoke on Simon gets caught when Simon wants to get caught. And he told you in your face with the therapist right there. So, again, problems were there. You weren't shocked. The only thing to me that shocked you is who it was with. You didn't think it would probably be somebody, you know, that close to you. Not close in a sense of relationship-wise, friendship-wise, but close enough that you all were going out getting to know each other. You had a rapport with each other. So I don't bring bitches in my house because I ain't now coming up in here with none of that. I don't even play like that. I don't care who you are. Family and all. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. You know, when she was talking about she had like a little family plan. And, you know, they had been together for five years. Basically, to sum it all up. And then she still says she prays for him. She wishes him well. You're a better bitch than me. Not calling her a bitch. I'm just saying indirectly that, okay, she's a better woman than I am. Because I'm not going to wish you nothing. You hurt me, you humiliated me, and you embarrassed me, and you made me side eye all my relationships coming forward, male and female. And you hurt the kids. It was a family unit. While you were sitting there planning, being a beautiful, plain Jane, your man had his own plan, which was to, he want to be in the light. He want to be flashy. You got a flashy man. And you were the plain Jane housewife type. Nothing wrong with that. But with all due respect, we live and we learn. What you learn is don't sit there and let nobody be your all. He had you right where he wanted to. Now, like I said, you indirectly admitted to what he said you did. But lesson learned. 
Don't bring nobody in your house that's temptation to your man. When you know what you have, you can't expect nothing more than what presents itself. Because he was a, you know, that type of person when you met him. Look how many times the man been married and divorced. And I'm just saying. But, as stated, beautiful woman, you just got to learn how to put yourself first under God. Put yourself first. Because you see him talking about he was your world, he was your everything. No, girl. You're your everything. Ain't nobody going to have your back like you going to have your back. So, that being said, like the video, if you made it this far, thank you. And, you know, shit. Have a good day. And leave a comment. Let's talk about it. How would you feel? Would you be wishing him well? Or would you be saying, fuck them? Not give no fucks. Damn them and damn that union. Well, you know what? The union already damned because look how it came to be. God don't bless no mess.